what is going on guys in last video we have designed the cart page where we have buttons for adding or removing the items from the cart in this video we will create a checkout page where we will have all the details like subtotal discount tag and total amount for making the order so let's get back to the project so we have designed the cart items now we will add a checkout button over here and when we click on it it will go to the checkout page so for that we will go to cart page since this is a cart page and this is the cart item so we will go to cart page here we have column text your cart and then we have lazy column and we have item below this here we want checkout button so i will create a button i'll copy it from product details view we have a add to cart button over here if you see this one i'll copy the button and paste it below here let's remove on click for now let's name it as check out if i run now cart you can see over here but i want it at the bottom so for lazy column what i will give i will give modifier equals to modifier dot weight it will take all the remaining space and it will go to bottom and let's increase the height of this to 50 dp now you can see check out so on click of this we will go to checkout page so let's create a new page in the pages let's call it a checkout page kotlin file it will have composable that let's let's make it checkout page and we have to navigate so to navigate let's go to app navigation and create a new navigation let's copy this home we don't have to pass anything so let's copy this simple one here let's make it checkout and it will go to checkout page we'll pass nav controller and we don't need to pass anything modifier that's it so now from cart page here global navigation dot navigate dot nav controller dot navigate to check out if i run now go to cart checkout you can see we are in a new page that is checkout page if i click on back you will notice we are in home page not in the cart page from cart we went to checkout but when we click on back we are in home page this should not happen it should stay on the cart so what we have done is if you see in the home screen this whole page is a home screen here what we have done we are setting the selected index to zero so every time we go to another page and come back it will set it as a zero because we have used only remember so what we will use here remember save here well with this it will remember wherever we were so if i run now go to cart go to checkout page click on back we are in the cart page so this is done now we'll close everything and just open checkout page now we'll design this checkout page so what things we can include in the checkout page so what things are required in the checkout page if you click on back over here you can see we have iphone in the cart there are two items we have tv we have one item so first thing we need this cart items all the cart items so if you click on checkout we need this cart item then only we can calculate so where are the cart items cart items are in user model so what we have to do first get the user model so first thing we will get is user model i will create a variable remember mutable state of user model now here i will use the launch defect unit same thing we are doing in cart page if you go over here same thing every time firebase dot firestore dot sun users the document firebase auth dot get instance dot current user dot uid which won't be null dot get dot add on complete listener if if it dot is successful we will store it in a result it dot result dot to object that is user model class dot job now if result is not null user model dot value equals to result now we will get the current user model so if you see in the user model we have cart items where we have product id and the quantity but we don't have the price why because price is in the data stock product all the product have price so in the user model we don't have price so we need that price so we have to multiply that price with this quantity then only we will get the total amount so what we will do from this product id list we will get list of product model and then we will calculate so for that we will create another variable that will be product list goes to remember mutable state list of we will use product model so it will contain all the product whatever we have in the cart previously in cart item we will doing individually here we will get whole list so here once we get the user model what we will do we will now query firebase dot firestore dot collection that will be data dot document that will be stock dot collection products we have product there and here we will use one query that is where in so where in it will get all the products it will search for all the products which has id which has id field and the value will be user model dot value dot cart items dot in the cart items we have the product id as key 
so value is quantity but we need key over here because the id is the key so cart items dot key dot to list so here what we have done we have provided all the product id list to this query to get all the products this will return the list of products so get dot add on complete listener here we will get the list we have already used it here we will do task say if task dot is successful let's put it in a result so result products equals to task result dot two objects because we have the list product model class dot java now we'll assign this result products to our variable that is products list product list dot add all the result products in this way we'll get the list of product whatever we have in the cart and it will be assigned to product list if you see over here now let's give a column let's use modifier equals to modifier dot fill max size dot padding will be 16 dp and here let's use for now text product list dot to list dot to string let's display the list if i run now check out you can see we have two products so we have got the list now we have got the product list we will have price and we will have the quantity so with that price we can multiply quantity and get the subtotal so for subtotal first i will do value i'll create a variable mutable state of i'll create a floating point because it can have decimal zero f initially it will be zero and then we'll calculate so where we will calculate we'll create a function over here before this launch defect function calculate and let's say assign to the variable so assign here what we will do we will do all the calculation so from here once everything is done we got the product we'll call that method calculate and assign now here we'll calculate total so how we'll calculate we'll go to product list we'll go to product list dot for each here we will get individual product now if you see over here in the product model we have actual price so this is the price we want to calculate not the price so what we will do we'll check either it has actual price or not if it dot actual price dot dot is not empty maybe sometime it does not have the value so now now we'll multiply the actual price with the quantity we have in this cart items we have the quantity with the id so we can match so here what we will do value quantity equals to we'll query in the user model so user model dot value dot cart items here we can pass the key of the id whatever the product we are using if it has quantity otherwise zero no quantity now we'll get the quantity from this cart items and we have the actual price we can multiply it. so we can add it to subtotal subtotal dot value equals to subtotal dot value plus we'll convert it dot actual price dot to float and we'll multiply it with quantity that's it you can improve it with plus equals to so we will get the actual price of the product we will get the quantity multiply it and add it in the subtotal dot value so here what it should do it should multiply 1799 into 2 and then again it should multiply 249 into 1 and then it will add to the subtotal if you see over here let's print the subtotal just to check print go to cart check out you can see subtotal is 3847 so we have two iphones that's why if you decrease this you can see subtotal is 2048 in this way it will work so if you increase the cart item the subtotal will be increased so now we have the subtotal so what else we require you can give the discount you can add tax you can do anything so for now we will add first discount equals to remember mutable state of will give zero same way i will give tax also you can add multiple items tax and finally we can have total so i will create three more variables discount tax and total now here once we calculated the subtotal from each product after this what we will do we'll calculate the discount so how we'll calculate the discount discount dot value equals to so how much discount we will give so here initially it is zero we should calculate from the total amount so subtotal dot value subtotal dot value into how much percent you want let's say 10 percent then 10 by 100 if you want to give 15 percent you can give 15 by 100 whatever percent 5 percent you can give instead of writing hard coded value over here what we can do is we'll go to app util and just create a method over here let's say after this function get discount percentage and we'll return value for now let's say 10 percent it will return float same way we'll give get tax percentage you can change it or you can get it from anywhere let's say 13 percent is the tax now here instead of giving this 5 percent 10 percent i will give a util dot get discount percentage divided by 100 so whatever value we give over there it will calculate and multiply it with value and it will get the discount if i print over here let's say discount dot value dot to string let's say we have total of 4096 how much discount it will calculate 
if you see over here 409.6 so 10 percent it has calculated so it is correct now once we calculated the discount now let's calculate tax so same thing tax dot value equals to subtotal dot value multiply by app util dot get tax percentage divided by 100 so once we got the discount and tax we can now calculate the total so we had subtotal now we'll calculate total so here total dot value equals to subtotal dot value minus discount dot value plus tax dot value so we have calculated discount and then we are adding tax so it will be now total value that's it so now we can display it in checkout page we can display everything over here so let's design the checkout page now here first thing we will show checkout font size will be 22.sp and font weight will be font weight dot bold if i run you can see checkout now here we will start giving all the items first let's give a spacer around 16 dp below this i'll give horizontal divider again spacer 16 db and then i will give a text that is subtotal so here what i want is i want subtotal text and i want subtotal dot value so in this way dot to string i want to display if i run now you see if you see this is the horizontal divider subtotal and the value but i want it in a row so i will use discount tax also so it will be reusable instead of this what i will do i'll create a new composable let's say row checkout items and we'll use two values title and value so we'll pass we'll paste it over here here we'll get instead of this from here we'll just pass row checkout items title will be subtotal value will be subtotal dot value dot to string so in this way here we'll use title and value so i'll use row first text first text will be title text second text will be value i'll use a modifier equals to modifier dot fill max width so that it will go to right and horizontal arrangement will be arrangement dot space between let's increase the size of title font size 20 dot sp and font weight will be font weight dot semi bold and this also font size let's make it as 18 dot sp now if i run you can see subtotal 4096 now we can use this for discount tax everything so let's give some spacer around 8 dp over here and then i will copy this same paste it below it will be discount discount dot value i'll copy this spacer as well for subtotal or tax tax dot value now i will use horizontal divider below that if i run till now you can see discount tax we can do one thing in discount we can show minus and in tax we'll use plus and here in the value we'll append dollar whatever the currency is if you see now we have subtotal discount tax now we can show the total so what i will do here i will use 16 dp spacer before this divider and then below also and then i will use a text that will be to pay text align will be text align dot center and i will use modifier equals to modifier dot fill max width let's put it on separate line so that we can have big to pay and below this we'll copy the text same thing here will be actual total cost. so total dot value dot to string font size let's make 30 sp font weight let's make dot bold and let's assign dollar plus so it will have here let's run now you can see we have two pay and this if you go back and let's add one more tv one more iphone go to checkout the amount is increased but you can see over here we have after decimal four values we don't want that we want only two values so we'll format this total value wherever we are calculating it percent dot 2f after decimal it will have two values dot format i will put it in bracket and dot to float that's it if i run now now you can see we have two digits so also one more thing i want to add over here is address so we don't have any address till now we'll add later from the profile from here we will add the address but right now i want address over here so for that what i will do after checkout this is spacer i'll use text that will be deliver to font weight font weight dot semi bold and we will show the user address so where is the user address we don't have any user address if you see over here in the user model we only have name email uid and cart items let's add address also so that we can later add it address equals to address will be string equals to empty string here we'll use user model dot address dot value dot address so if to keep a spacer again 16 db if i run now restart go to cart check out we don't have address right now let's add hard-coded address 
for this user i will add field address let's add some dummy address one two three main street bring field one 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 usa let's say add it address now if i run we'll get the address and we can also add the name so here let's copy this name deliver to test one one two three main street springfield usa now it is looking good so in this way it will work if you go let's remove this i only want one iphone that is 17.99 check out we have the 17.99 discount is 179 after tax after tax the total is 18.52 in this way calculation works you can change in the app util also you can store this value in the firebase and you can get it from there as well but as of now i have added in the app util so that's all for this video in next video we will add a pay button over here and when we click on that pay it will initiate the payment we can pay it through debit or credit or any other payment option so if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video bye bye